Going. Well, exciting times. I've got some posts to open, but I've got something very, very special. Not to diminish the other posts being less special, but this one here. Actually, this guy sent me two things out. This and this. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this now. But I'm going to show you after I've opened the other stuff because the, the light is fading. Where I live here is in a flight path, so we get a lot of aircraft going straight over the top. Now today I'm opening everything with this. This was gifted by Simon Walker. He is an amazing knife maker. It's high carbon steel, matte eye handle, a beautiful knife, stick knife. And he also handcrafted this leather sheath. Thank you very much, Simon. Righto, this came from Steve in Australia. Well, this bloke's a professional hunter. Check it out. These guys live a bloody hard life. He's a roo hunter. Yeah, he's a, a meat worker and they work bloody hard. Desert Hunter, Steve. What a life, eh? Good on you, Steve. Thanks for the, uh, the video, mate. Oh, Stu Driver, number one good bastard. Stu. The honey I had today in my Manuka tea is from Stu. Now, if you're wondering what was in the tea I made today uh, at the beginning of the clip, it was Manuka tea. You can have it straight green and it's good. Look at this. And in here is a little plant. And I think it's wasabi. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Mate, little plant to grow. Awesome. It's so awesome. What's in here? Contraband? Oh, look at this. Tiny little chilies. Are they hot? I'm just going to try a tiny little bit because I know Stu is into this mad hot stuff. Okay. <laughs> what else is in here? Oh, wicked! Just when I needed it, we're out of the garlic. Check these big suckers out. Look at the size of that. That's from the Catlins. So it's a bag of garlic. There's four garlics in there. Thank you, number one good bastard. Right, Hamish Hurst, who's also a good bastard, has kept me and all the young fellas in ammunition. And we've already opened this box up. But basically, he sent me a whole lot of 22 ammo. We shot quite a bit off already. Thanks, Hamish. It's got that much left. So that's a, uh, probably another two days out in the rifle range with the young fellas. Brilliant. What's in this? This is from... Where's the glasses gone? Oh, mate, it's a bit overwhelming. Pete. Pete from... Australia. Another Aussie. Thanks, Pete. Right, what's it going to be? What do you reckon it is? Doesn't say on the outside, just says tool. Could be anything. Got 
got a note here. Peter Simmons. I'll hold this up. I don't know if it'll focus or not on that. Is it going to focus? Probably not. Right, if you want to get hold of this guy, take a screenshot. Pretty hard to see the uh, details on it. And on the back here. There's his card. Take a screenshot of that if you want to get hold of the bloke. I don't know if you can read it. Right, -o. Right, back to... Uh, G'day Clay, please find and close a little gift I made for you. Man, I, I love when people make stuff. I'm sure it will come in handy. I call it a donk stick. It's great for whacking fish on the head. It's made from grey gum and finished in natural wax. Cheers for all your work, mate. We appreciate it. Pete, New South Wales. This is a donk stick. I reckon you could also use it. Oh, beauty. Check it out. Oh mate, that's a cracker. I think we could probably carry that under the uh, see the truck because you know it'd be bloody handy on possums too. A donk stick. Hey, thanks, mate. That's that's bloody magic. That really is magic. It's really heavy, folks. It's got a real hard. You wouldn't want that across your Swede. Back up's a rolling pin too, maybe. Thanks, Pete. Beauty, mate. Right, what else we got here? Right, there's no name on this, uh, basically it comes from the UK, but it's got no sender's name, so I don't know who to thank for it. While I'm opening this, I want to say uh, to Scott Wilson, hey mate, welcome to New Zealand, you've been uh, accepted in, they're actually letting you in the country, I hear. Well, at least your partner's got a job, and also thanks for the gift you sent me a while ago too. I actually opened it off film, uh, didn't have time to, to make a vlog, but cheers, oh look at this, and you know what's going to go on this, don't you? It's a beautiful little hip flask. Oh mate, who sent it? There's no note or anything. Look at this. It's got mackerel, marlin and tuna on there. I'll just zoom in a bit, see if you can see that there. It's a cracker. It's a bloody cracker. Hip flask. I think we could uh, probably use this for hunting, you know. Not that I would uh, condone drinking and alcohol and hunting together, but after the kill, when you're, uh, you know, all sitting around, provided you're not driving, couple of wee tots out of this. What a handy wee hip flask. That's a beautiful gift. Thank you to whoever gave it and um, please comment below who it was because your name's not on there anywhere. And I'd like to personally thank you. Thank you very much. Right, we have a uh, From Ray again. Well check this out. What is it? Let me show you this guy's card. Let's hold that up. I'm going to just zoom in here before I show you what's here. Let's come in here. Get this guy's details. This man is a very talented artist. He can draw your animals for you, your dog, your pet rabbit, in the case of this card, your cat. In fact, any bloody thing. He's a very talented man. Very gifted artist. There's his contact details. Screenshot that and contact the bloke if you want a painting done. He is brilliant. Right, we'll zoom back out. To Clay from Ray Hardcastle. Gators, originally packed with your painting. Hope you can use them. And there goes his card again there. Let me just zoom in on this again. If you didn't get the first one. Look at those here. Those, they're here. Isn't that a fantastic... That is fantastic. And a set of gators, mate. A set of gators. And this, you know what? This couldn't have come at a better time, buddy, because I actually gave my gators to my son, Yona, who's now on the west coast on an adventure course, and he needed gators, so I don't have any, so I gifted him mine, so now I have a pair. Thank you very, very much. Right, we have uh, from the, I think it's from America. This comes from Carl Performance, and uh, that's somewhere in the States. We'll probably find out when we open it up. This doesn't really sit on the outside as such. It's one of those packages where you open one, and then there's another one. Oh, okay, there's the ups. So, what has Carl Performance sent me? Mate. These are going to be great for the kids. T-shirts. Heaps of T-shirts. It says, uh, Billy Moyer Victory Race Cars. 
Hey man, these are going to be so handy for all the kids I take out. I really appreciate that. There's a load of t-shirts there. Are they all t-shirts? This is a big t-shirt. This is for a big man. Hey, I might give one of these to Jamie the Giant. This is a size, this is definitely a, um, a large, look at the size of that. Everything in America is huge. Check the size of this out. Yeah, it's massive. Very thoughtful, appreciate it very much. Right, let's crank this beauty open while well, we've still got the light to see it. All right, the moment of truth. Now, before I show you this, there's a story behind it. Last year, I caught a 131 pound pig with Choppy, and uh, who else was on it? There was uh, Boo, I think, and Bob, Poe, Diego. Can't remember the dogs, to be honest, but. When I was carrying the pig out of the hill, I said, uh, geez, I wish the pig could carry me out. And Ray remembered that. So what he did was he depicted a picture of me, Boo, Bob and Poe, but the pig carrying me out. And this is it. Would you just look at this? This is bloody amazing. He's got down here some blackberry like we have in the forest. And over here he's got some passion fruit. He's got the purple flowers, right? He's got loads of hawks, because I always say where there's a hawk is pork. He's got Boo looking just like Boo, rest in peace Boo. And Bob, man, it looks like Bob. And there's Poe. And there's me. I look a little bit older there, Ray. This will be good in 30 years when I'm about 80. It'll still be in, uh, in time. This is amazing. He's got the cut over in the forestry. He's just done an awesome job. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this here into the CD cover for my third album. I think it's just brilliant. And I love it. And I treasure it. Thank you very, very much, man. I'm so blown away. It's going on the wall in the Good Bastards Club room. Tracking collars on the dogs, everything is just so well thought of. Massive thank you. That is the opening part of this uh, vlog. So what I also do on the channel is I take out young fellas that don't have dads to take them out. If they're under 16 years of age, and they can get to the pickup point, then I'll take them in the hunt zone and we'll spend a full day hunting either goat, rabbit, pig, deer, whatever, and then take them back home that night. Uh, this year we're taking out Smash again, and young Reese uh, with good results. Also connected up with young Miles, who's based in the UK going to school, but he comes home to see his mum here. Uh, Miles is 16, plays rugby, and he's a bloody good hunter, and a neat guy to take out in the hill. Very quiet and very aware, learns fast. We spent a day walking around the Hackett and up the back of the Richmond range trying to find a deer with uh, no luck, but we certainly gave it a good nudge. Also, we had our boot camp of these two young fellas, a couple of real characters, and we really tested them hard, and needless to say, they passed the test. That clip is on my Patreon if you want to watch it. You will be seeing these two faces again because I want to have them back. They are made out of the tough stuff. Uh, last weekend, we had young Ryan, who's 15, uh, six foot four and weighs 80 kg and is fit as a trout. We didn't catch anything because it was raining, but I will be taking Ryan out again too. And a big thanks to Scott to getting him to the pickup point. That's this vlog done and dusted. Hope life's treating you well. Your own hunting, your fishing, gathering, whatever you're doing to provide food for yourself and your family and your loved ones. Take it easy out there. Be safe. Be good. And if you cannot be good, then what, Bruno? Careful. Oh mate, you didn't have to get up. Hey old boy. Bruno's really getting old now, aren't you boy, eh? Hey, you good boy, hey? Yeah, in dog years he's just about ready to uh, punch his ticket. Good boy Bruno. That's your good boy. Don't kiss me, yeah. No, I don't want kisses, yeah. See you later.